that the implementation of the system was rushed and it did not involve proper public participation. The governor said this even as education stakeholders in the county met to familiarize themselves with the new competency-based curriculum and monitor its implementation in the region. Education stakeholders in West Pokot met to familiarize themselves with the new competency-based curriculum and monitor its implementation in the region. However, speaking, Professor John Lenyangapo, who is the governor of the area, criticized the new curriculum saying there was no wide consultation among all education stakeholders, especially the teachers from primary and secondary levels, to give their input on the curriculum. Lonyangapo added that the implementation of the system was rushed and that it did not involve proper public participation. And in Laikipia County, Laikipia Deputy Governor John Moniki has cautioned the Teachers Service Commission to stop dumping teachers who lack discipline, especially drunkards to schools in the county, on disciplinary action since they now will be rejected. Speaking during a consultative forum for stakeholders in the education sector at the Ngidu Boys Secondary School in Nanyuki Town, the stakeholders lamented that TSC has been generally sending teachers with disciplinary issues to the county, hence affecting the performance of students. TSC wamechukua walimu wane kwa mula moja na hawajaweka mwalimu mwingine wa siada baada ya kushukua wale. Kwa hivyo nafikiri TSC na mimi ningeomba nat they should put TSC on the toes in as far as the staffing of teachers in Laikipia North. Finally, the division among the Dock Workers Union leadership played in court. This was during the hearing of the application filed challenging the privatization of the second container terminal, CT2, at the port of Mombasa. Please, there are other parties. There is a second petition. Although the Union Secretary General Simon Sang filed a petition on July 15th at the Mombasa High Court, the Dark Workers Union came out and distanced themselves from the petition that was to challenge the privatization of the second container terminal at the port of Mombasa. 100%. Your Honor, I have carefully listened to the views, particularly from Mr. Kagram and uh, Mr. Kebara, and I say this that this being a constitutional petition and this petition emanating from the amendment to the Merchant Shipping Act. Through a different lawyer, Odwari Simiu, Union Board opted out of the matter, saying that Sang never consulted any of the top leadership. Simiu said when the Dock Workers Union Board realized that a petition had been filed in court, they appointed him as their lawyer and apply to discontinue with the matter. Sophie Wasike, KUTV from the counties.